Phase two. <laughs> we are putting down felt paper over the shingle shingle dog underlayment and uh, really want to get this thing uh, plugged up. I know with this product um, you'll definitely uh, won't see any more water leaking. That's for sure. I'll tell you something. If I come up here, it's supposed to pour rain again tomorrow. This is the first break in weather that we've had, right? It'll be our test. Okay, if I come <laughs> up here tomorrow and there, is still, there are still leaks inside this house, I am probably going to scream. I'll try not to do it on camera. Well, it would have to be something other than the roof uh, at that point, so we'll fit. Yeah. But yeah, I don't anticipate it leaking. I did notice that this stuff had like imperfections. Oh, really? Yeah. And this is, it is installed correctly, like the... Yes, it, it's installed it correctly. It from the bottom up, so thanks for the suggestion on that. We checked it, and that was done right. Like I said, we, you know, and we taped stuff off. I, I, I don't know, we're like still totally mystified. Well, there was a lot of, like I said, there were a lot of tears and imperfection, and that'll do it, you know. Yeah. But, uh, you know, yeah. with this stuff here, you can, you can visually see if there's an imperfection in, in the felt paper. You know, it's going to be right in front of your face. But, you know, and also I like the fact that it's got, you know, it's impregnated with tar. And, uh, you know, just I've never seen this stuff leak. And, you know, I've done 20 roofs with this stuff in my lifetime and never seen it leak. Well, I mean, I, don't, I still don't know why any of, any of this was leaking anyway, so... And I'm a big fan of roofing nails. I just I've never had an issue with them. Right. Yeah, it, it takes more time than slap, you know, no slap staple. So we are doing what that says on the felt, and like every whatever six to eight inches. Yeah, yeah. And and overlapping it, we're going to tack this down. We're going to get all these up and then tack it down before it starts raining again. Which so, we probably only have a couple you more know, hours. I mean, we really we were not happy with what was going on. You know, obviously with the leaks and stuff and. We knew we were going to have to do something, we just didn't know what, and uh, we really appreciate everybody's suggestions on what to do, and um, somebody suggested this, I think it's John, <laughs> on the comments, like, hey, a cheap way to fix it, get some felt, and the two of you get up there, and that's kind of what we were waiting to do, it's just on a, on a day, I mean, we both didn't want to get up here in the rain. Yeah, uh, yeah, a couple hundred dollars later, problem solved, you know, right, so, you know, no big deal. Um, it would be, would have been nice to do the ice and water, like the really nice stuff all the way up, but that's kind of over the budget, and um, and we don't want to go back to Anchorage getting stuff right now, we just wanted to go to the local hardware store, grab what we need. Which is just, two, three minutes from here, right, so, so, yeah. At this just point, get her done when you got the done. weather, you know. Right, yep. and that because it's supposed to rain the next two days for sure. The next break is what on on Saturday we're gonna get. Saturday is uh, Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Looks like good weather. Um, you know, Nick and I'll get this roof together. You know. Yeah, we've got so. Sure Nick's we'll committed, so. Metal. Um, on oh the yeah. We gotta get that up here on Saturday and get rolling. Yeah. So. That's our metal. And then the flashings down there on the trailer bed. So, priority, get this on, get the house wrapped, windows and doors in, and then we can breathe. Because it's all finished work from that, that point on. Maybe, just maybe, get our siding up. But, you know, if we don't, we don't. It will get done. What's going on down there, bird? You washing rocks? Good job. <laughs> okay, we are making some progress here. And as I was going along, I noticed something a little bit interesting right here. I don't know if you can see that, it just looks like kind of a water stain around that staple. And noticing another one here that's a little bit smaller than that other one. I don't see that on all of them. Like there's another little one right there. You know, but then there's you know there's a staple there. I don't see one there. There's a staple there. I don't see one there. So I don't know. If 
that's where, I mean, if it was getting in there and then traveling all the way down the, I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out the mystery of how, <laughs> there's another one. Like, look you dog, you're supposed to stop that from getting in there. I don't know. <laughs> but <laughs> this felt paper better work. Uh, I don't know if we'll ever solve that mystery. Well, we're going to finish getting this stuff on here. Scott went down to get one more roll. Well, I'm waiting for Scott. I'm just going to stand here and enjoy the view. If you can see through straight through there, there's a glacier coming out of the top of those mountains. Pretty cool sight. It's quite overcast today, so you can't see it glowing blue. But a little, still a little termination dust on the tops of those mountains. It's coming down some more. Oops, kind of can see Mount Alice through the top over there. Okay, do you see that? That is rain. <coughs> are we surprised that there's rain happening? Nope. No, we are not. Because we just finished. We're surprised we just, the sun happened. <coughs> I know, we're surprised when the sun comes out, huh? Yay! Yeah. We had that earlier today. Hi, yeah. So we just finished. Um, we were short about, what, <coughs> five feet, dear? Five, about five feet of paper to finish up above here on the, I don't even want to, Arctic entry. <laughs> We were close. We got up to that corner, that corner, and then we almost, okay. And then we ran out of cap nails, so we started stapling, and now it's raining, and we're done. So tomorrow will be the test to see if it holds this out. So we shall see. Wednesday, September 28th. And I'm going to walk into this house, and I'm believing, this is my positive attitude, I'm believing that there will be no leaks coming through that roof because it is pouring out here. It's been raining all day. Well, since we finished putting that felt on the roof yesterday. So we're going to, we're going to check it out. We're believing for no leaks. So let's see what's happening. Maybe I should plug some lights in here. Okay. Now I tried to get water out of here yesterday, but it was late and I didn't get it all out. So it doesn't look like there's any more water on the floor. Hmm. Let's see. It's quite a bit that was dripping in that section. I don't see anything coming down there. Yeah, here. Let's see what's going on in here. Hmm. Looks looks good in here. There was a huge leak actually in Emma Jean's room because it was this big pile of water right there. I got some of it out, but because you can see there's that BCI right there. It's just uh mold, yick. Spray some bleach on that one. Let's see if that's stopped dripping down there. I don't see anything. Oh, Yahoo. Hallelujah. Let me check up in the loft. So I'm going back to the exact same spot the other day where it was just dripping through here and I'm not seeing anything through there. Oh, Yahoo. And then this one was also 
There was water. See that's still moist right there, but it's but there's no water running along it. Because the other day it was just oh nasty. Oh yeah, that's getting sprayed with bleach for sure. We need just to dry this place out. Okay, they're gone. The leaks are gone. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Because I didn't want to have to scream. So, so what does this mean? Hmm. So, what does that tell us? I'm telling you, yesterday when I was up there and I saw those kind of like rings around where the staples were, I'm like, hmm, that doesn't look right. And then the fact that it did say no staples, use caps only, whatever, right on the shingle dog. I don't know, that shingle dog, I wasn't entirely impressed with, impressed with it. It wasn't very thick. It was just kind of like a flimsy, synthetic um, underlayment, and i just not impressed with the product. So maybe if it had been installed with the, the cap nails, it would have been fine. Uh, I don't know. But obviously, that's, that whole combination wasn't working, and that should have been fixed a long time ago. So it's, you know, partly on us. Well, it is on us because even if, you know, like you get a, a supply from your building uh, supplier or your contractor puts it up there, or whatever, it's like, okay, it's leaking, then we need to do something about it. And um, last week, we only had one good day of weather on that Tuesday when the sun was shining. And just last week was crazy. It's like, you know, we probably should have been up on the roof then putting felt up there, but. Um, anyway, it is what it is. It's like always hindsight's 2020 type thing. Oops, the camera just shut off on me. <laughs> so I'm going to sit on the window ledge here and uh, finish up some commentary on that. So anyway, point made about the roof and uh, hopefully cl case closed on that. So our plan is we have uh, actually a two-day window of opportunity on Saturday and Sunday. It's supposed to be clear sunshine and we have um, a couple of friends lined up to help us with getting that metal up there and get that rolling so uh, we believe that that will be accomplished by the end of the weekend that will be huge and um, then we'll just deal with the next thing after that so uh, getting that done and again i want to thank everybody for taking the time to leave your comments uh, we certainly appreciate it uh, even if it's just something encouraging, you know, like a quick encouragement, uh, that's awesome. And those of you who are taking the time to actually type out these like detailed instructions, bless you. Um, I've had to like copy and paste those onto like a Word document and print them out and put them in the file and, you know, to be able to like look at, look at them and break some, break some of that information down. And some of it, like I'm filing it away for like, okay, future reference, we're going to make a decision on that. But what needs to be done like right now it's like the next priority so we definitely appreciate feedback and uh, uh, you know we're trying to make the best decisions we can um, with the information that we have so people who have more experience doing this than we do then thank you so much for, for giving that feedback so anyway probably uh, next uh, next update we're gonna go out on the weekend and get some metal on the roof Saturday September 30th that is sun thank you god and this is a roof with felt paper that has been rained on heavily for the past three days so it's not looking too good um it did keep it dry on the inside but so i'm up here trying to get some of the water out of these little off of these indentations so it would dry out. The deal is that the sun is, it's out, but it's not as hot as it was this summer. So um, anyway, we've got to dry this thing off and we are very fortunate to have our friend Nick helping today. Most of our friends are so busy with their own projects. Not that Nick doesn't have his, but he and his wife own and operate a restaurant in Seward in the summer called Gold Rush Bistro, a lovely place to eat, and it is shut down for the season. So um, Nick volunteered to help us up here today, which we are very, very thankful for. And uh, what Scott and Nick are doing, are in they're installing the eave flashing down here. So. You gotta, okay, she's got it. Putting a little bead of caulking on there and then the overlapping. Bingo. Oh, you know what I didn't get? The screws. 
Okay. Oh. I shall be back. <laughs> All right. So they're putting the screws in here about 24 inches on center and the part down in the end we had to cut cut and then let me see if I can see this without falling off the edge of the roof. Cut and then uh, bend in the the edge and then the, the gable flashing is going to go over yeah. that but that little piece down there the little um, hem piece you have to kind of bend out a little bit so the next one fits um, over it, like where the overlapping is. So they've already prepped these pieces and that's what they're up to down here. So I'm going to get this this piece screwed in. They paid me the big bucks for man, think outside the box. So, and then we're going to have to cut this last one here on the end. So that's the first step. Well, first step is getting this roof cleaned off. Second step, get this part on before we start unloading panels. We're just going to have to somehow get them off of there and get them up here and just get rolling with it. Scott and Nick have finished the eave flashing and I've pushed water around enough with my trusty broom to get most of it to evaporate, dry out. Yeah, I just was sitting in these little valleys and it wasn't looking good. So the sun is up high enough and uh, that's really been helpful. Slight breeze helping to dry this out now before we get those panels on there. So in a perfect world, <laughs> we would have had the roof built and felt on and the metal on. Boom, boom, boom. Just like that. Well, I guess in the do-it-yourself world, it is not perfect. So, how many weeks later, we're actually getting it done. Ooh, this is a nice view. So, all right. Thank you for a sunshiny day, Lord. Oh my goodness, we needed this so badly. All right, back to work. Scott's up here. He's getting the un unstrapping that and uh, dismantling the top part of the crate so we can get these panels up here. So what we're doing, I can't film it because there's just the three of us and there's no way that's going to happen, but we're, we've got Nick up on the top there. He's sliding the panels down to Scott and I who are standing down here on the roof and then we're just walking them across and uh, right now I guess what we're going to try to do is uh, fasten what we have up here and, and see how that goes before we start unloading some more. So we're just checking this first panel here. Uh, we were just testing it, putting this as a Z closure and then the apex piece. So we we're just testing it across there to make sure that the spacing were down about two inches there. And this roof is very plumb, so we got it straight. Scott's going to fasten it down. We wanted it to hang over at least an inch at the bottom, so he is measuring and that lines up. And about how far off of the, were we about a quarter of an inch in? About a quarter, yeah. In quarter of an inch in here uh, from the edge. These things are not punched so, out. Huh? These things are not all punched out. Yeah. I'm so having, we're. I'm having to skip based on it. Yeah, well, they're supposed to. Okay, so we're hanging over at least an inch over down there in the end. Yeah. Okay, so. So, uh oh. Are you, will you video? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just just showing that the. You need to make sure these things yeah. are punched out. Yeah. So here we don't want to go more than uh, two thirds of the way up because, like Bob was telling us, insulation on this is very important. This it's going to it's going to tend to creep up as it heats up. So we want to make sure that it's room and. Uh, and not to screw them down too hard. He said make sure you can get a, sure these, uh, a playing card can out. get underneath there. So we have to make sure that they're not super snug. So we also tested this gable piece of flashing over the end to make sure that the spacing was correct on that. So we just want to make sure everything's lined up before we actually start fastening it all down. So it's nice about the way they shipped these is this 
piece of protective plastic on here so we're just gonna I'm gonna go ahead and tear those off and get those other pieces ready so they can put those panels down so uh, Nick's just uh, punching those holes out making it easier for the next panel we put down and Scott can just get those fastened very quickly. Five panels down. We're not doing too badly. So once we got it going, you get a little rhythm. We're liking this. Looks great. Easy, super easy to install. We're just able to, you know, get those fasteners in there. And what we're doing is, maybe we'll try to catch that on video next time. Is just uh, using the rubber mallet to kind of lightly tap these down and they just snap right into place. I mean, this looks very sleek with the hidden fasteners. We're really loving it. This is a Skyline Roofing Series by ASC Metal Roofing here in um, Anchorage. They have actually, I can, um, they have a manufacturing plant in Anchorage and they also have one, I believe in Oregon, Washington, Utah and Sacramento in California. So they're a little variety along the West Coast, it seems like. So we're very thankful that we were able to just have them make it here in Anchorage and um, go pick them up. So yeah, this is a, a 26 gauge and I mean, we just we're impressed with like the, the look of it, the strength of it, the ease of being able to to put down. So uh, anyway, I just got a, a text from one of my former students who says, hey, do you need some help? And I'm like, yes, come on up here. So it'd be a lot easier to get a fourth person to help uh, get them off of the truck. So that's the next objective. So the challenging part of getting these long panels off there onto the roof with the three of us is like Nick was down on the truck and we're trying to like slide them over to Scott and I standing down here and trying to slide them without scratching them and <laughs> and not bending them so we're trying to slide them and then you know lift them up you know tip them on their side lift them up so it's easier to to carry them we're very thankful that there is like no wind so super super helpful to not have wind blowing those suckers around so um hopefully think the fourth person will be easier to We'll just get them all up here and station them um, across. I figure we'll put a you know a stack there, a stack here, and that way, even uh, once our help leaves, and then Scott and I will have them up here, and we can just keep going on this while the weather's good. Well, it's the end of the day. The good news is that there are no longer any panels on there, and they are on here, which is. Like I'm trying to stay positive because now we've got them off the truck. We had another helper, which was very good because with four people, it was just so difficult to to get them off that back end without, anyway, with Dakota here, he was on the back end, Nick was up there, and Scott and I on the roof here, and we finally got them all off and then they had to leave. So uh, we only got five panels actually in place down on the end which was um, about 30 short of where we wanted to be today. <laughs> uh, so part of the problem is as it gets later in the day, this, yeah, the dew. So we have dew in the morning. Okay, so we don't have rain. We have dew in the morning. Now we've got dew at night. So it makes that all slippery and not cool. Um, I don't know. We'll see what time we can get started in the morning. It's just going to be Scott and I because we have no helpers tomorrow. And I don't know. This was this was a little bit disappointing to be honest because we really thought we were going to get more done today. And uh, we actually wanted this all to be finished and then maybe if we had to just put like the, the gable flashing on or something like that um, and the apex flashing tomorrow we would have been fine with that but to be at this point and still have quite a bit more to go uh, tomorrow plus the other thing is uh, at three o'clock tomorrow we're going to have Emma Jean's little birthday gathering she turned five like two weekends ago and she was sick on her birthday and so we didn't have the party then and then last weekend we didn't have the party and 
she wanted to do something in the new house and around in the yard and stuff. So we said, oh, we have to wait till there's some good weather and the roof is not leaking. And I'm like, okay, you can't put a pinata and hang it from the ceiling in the living room when there's like drip, drip, drip. So anyway, we plan on doing that tomorrow. So now I'm up here tonight. Uh, Scott took Emma Jean home and I was just trying to clean up some of the tools and stuff because it's like, yeah, I do already. Gets on the tools, have to put those away. Plus, I need to get cleaning up on the inside. I tried to sweep some of that water off the floor, at least so it could dry out a bit today, but it's definitely not party worthy <laughs> for tomorrow. So you just start kind of cleaning up and, and thinking about how we're setting up for some games and all that stuff. I mean, she's she's five and she's really excited. She's never had a birthday party. So trying to make it special for her and definitely don't want to tell her, oh no, we got to get the roof on. I mean, this kid has been so patient with so much that we've been doing on this house. And uh, right now we just need to do something uh, positive for her and hopefully for ourselves, <laughs> take a little break. I don't know, it's been tough this week. I have this really vicious stomach virus that uh, has not wanting to go away the past few days. So that has not been fun for me. And then Scott's still dealing with some of this congestion and stuff. So. Um, he's pretty spent at this point and considering that I was like construction worker all summer and then f like a, a switch flipped and went back in the classroom and boy my body is feeling it today so if you ever want to get a good workout become a construction worker uh, so and then definitely you know just sitting at my desk grading papers has not been good for my leg muscles or arms and so just a little bit I was doing today I'm feeling it and I'm like oh boy this is not good. So, you know, just being real, this is sometimes not easy to get this stuff done. But we're just going to keep plugging away because this has to be finished tomorrow. Some way, somehow, this metal is getting on this roof. So it's quite late. I've been busy trying to clean up in here. I moved all of the lumber that was stacked in that area into our bedroom stacked it in there just to get it out of the way and swept, swept, swept up as much as possible so it's looking cleaner down there and uh, I was just standing up here while well, I did some sweeping up here too it was a little bit messy <laughs> and so uh, I was just kind of getting a perspective of what I'm doing for these games tomorrow. I thought, okay, we need to put some kind of hook. I can just use the lift, put a hook up there so we can uh, string a rope, do a pinatas and some games and stuff. So something fun for the kids. And uh, yeah, so I think I'm, I'm pretty much ready to roll. Oh, one thing I did notice, uh, it's very cool view from my loft is uh, that speck out there in the sky. Well, that's a moon. <laughs> it looks horrible through the camera, but it looks amazing. I just watched it rise up over those trees. So I'm encouraged to think, well, one day, I can't see much out there. It's just interesting because over the summer, of course, you know, we're up here and the the sun is out for most of the time and it doesn't get dark, so it's been a while since we've seen uh, darkness like this and uh, stars. Stars and a moon, that's amazing to see because it's been so cloudy lately. So I'm um, just imagining sitting here looking out my window, sitting on a little couch in the loft. So that's going to be nice. Came outside, I was going to start my car to get ready to leave before I unplugged those lights and I looked inside, I said, wow, this looks like a house. This looks amazing. <laughs> this is what it's gonna look like. Well, once we get the windows and whatever on, I was just, I was just really encouraged because I was thinking this time last year we were camping. I was looking up at the stars and I'm like, wow, it's such a beautiful clear night. And I remember uh, this time last year, we camped up here because we wanted to keep the fire burning. Uh, we were trying to burn stumps and brush and whatever we were clearing from the lot and uh, it was one of these nights where it was just nice fall evening, beautiful starry night and uh, I was just encouraged because I'm thinking wow we really 
really come a long way in a year. So even though I was disappointed we didn't get as far as we wanted to on the roof today, I have to say, well, we're better off this time now than since last year. <laughs> So what is, you drew all this, we're on the roof. Yeah, it doesn't get rainbow hair. What? We're on the roof, pitch black, and our little girl's in here. Look at this now. What? Dad, just move back a little bit because you're casting a shadow on the, okay, let's see. The blue one is Daddy, and then which one's me? The purple one's you and the pink one's me. Well, look at your... We're wearing high heels. Oh, wow, under that rainbow. <gasps> oh, honey, that is beautiful. This is the best decoration this kitchen's ever going to have. <laughs> yeah, it is. Good job. We need to finish cleaning up the... We have to finish cleaning up the... Uh, it is, I don't even know what time it is, 8.30, is it 8.30, 9 o'clock, we are, we're so close, we're so close, we, we have seven panels left on that roof, and we needed one more hour, but it's starting to rain, and it's pitch black, we were trying to hook up the uh, big shop light up there so we could see, and, but now it's getting too dangerous, it's slippery up there, and and uh, Scott's back's given out, and um, I'm trying to screw the panels down, and I'm not very yeah, a couple good with them. Of cake and I'm ready to rally. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, I'm serious. Yeah, a couple of pieces of cake. Yeah, I'm yeah. proofing and cake, and he's ready to go. But it's just, it's too dangerous up there. It's slippery and and dark, and just need another hour. We'll just uh, hope that uh, maybe some rain will not come down tomorrow. I don't know. Well, tomorrow's going to rain something. pretty good, but we might get a little break when uh, we get off work. We just need an hour. I know. Hour. Yeah. We, we get a break. And we're we're so close. We're so close. And anyway, it looks amazing. The, the roof looks amazing. It's just it's so time consuming. It's just the two of us. And we had to break for a few hours this afternoon yeah, to do the party. and. Huh? Oh, we have a stove. Yeah. Well, we're gonna. Ooh. Huh? There you are. I know. Did you have fun at your party, Imogene? Yeah. So we have a stove. It's an Enviro Boston. What is this? A 1700? Yeah, that's hot, Imogene. Oh, this is a 1200. Yeah, the 1700 is basically the same. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna get this thing hooked up right over there, and there's a housing back here, and the pipe the pipes about right oh, here on the 1700. Yeah. But no, that's that's tons of surface space. That's all we need. We wanted to go with this because it's cast iron. This is gonna really hold the heat, and uh, yeah. So we'll be excited this week to get that. As soon as we get the roof done, that's the next thing. Get that in there. Put the uh, I know. Get the pipe all. All set up there and get some visqueen over the uh, windows and doors, and uh, we're good to go. It's been a, a long week, and uh, I gotta work in the morning, so we need to get this party stuff cleaned up and, and get out of here. Ready, Imogene? Okay. Okay, early Monday morning. Just dropping by here to check things out. This is how far we got last night. This is a nice sign to see water just going off the roof, but it, is, it has poured all night. This is how far we got. We only had seven more panels. It was so heartbreaking that we didn't get those done, but we just strapped them down so the wind wouldn't blow them off the roof last night. And uh, anyway, hopefully we'll get a break in the weather and get this finished. Um, rain go away. <laughs>